Let's talk about DSSE KMS, which is dual layer server side encryption KMS. It's basically SSE KMS with the inclusion of client side encryption. I figured that it would make more sense to call this client side encryption KMS, but they don't call it that because other cloud service providers use the term dual layer. So I'm thinking Amazon is following suit here. The reason why that doesn't make sense is that it's not encrypting twice server side. Okay, because one's happening client side and one's happening server side, but whatever, it's called dual layer server side. So the thing is, is that with DSSE KMS, data is encrypted twice. Uh, and they, uh, the key used for the client side encryption comes from KMS. This is kind of interesting because think of SSEC, you generate it locally and then uh, you send the key to AWS. But the way this works is that AWS sends you the key that they want you to use client side and then you send the data and then encrypts it again. So that's a little bit different. There are no additional charges for DSSE and KMS keys. Um, and so here's an example on the right hand side where we would uh, specify our server side encryption flag with AWS colon KMS colon DSSE. And then you're providing the KMS key. But again, notice you aren't generating out a, cust a customer key and providing it because they're gonna do that for you. So let's talk about, because it's a little bit different, let's talk about how encrypt and decrypt works. So the idea is that client side requests on AWS KMS to generate a data encryption key uh, using DEK, uh, using the customer managed key. KMS sends two versions of the deck to you, a plain text version and an encrypted version. You use the plain text deck to encrypt your data locally and then discard it from memory. The encrypted version of the deck is stored alongside the encrypted data in Amazon S3. So hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't give it another read uh, for decryption, you retrieve the encrypted data and the associated encrypted deck. You send the encrypted deck to AWS KMS, which decrypts it using the corresponding uh, customer managed key, CMK, and returns the plain text deck Use the plain text deck to decrypt the data locally and then discard the deck from memory. Um, the thing I just want you to remember is that with DSSE KMS, you are not generating the key. AWS is doing all the work for you, okay? So if you can't remember all the steps, it doesn't matter. Just remember that it's encrypted twice, client side, server side, and the, the customer key uh, or the client side key is gonna come from AWS, okay?